We've got the Lexus postgame report coming up as the Sabres celebrate a 3-2 win over the Oilers in an afternoon matinee. All right, we're back at Key Bank yes. Center. Yeah, they just looked at it, Dan. The official review, and they waved this goal off. It's an offside is what they're talking about here. Man, if it is, it looks like it's less than an inch. That man right there thought he scored the game-winning goal, but he didn't. I mean, all the, the players are have left the room. benches. They're all in the dressing room. Buffalo celebrating right now. They're going to have to come back out. They're going to put some time on the clock, and they're going to have to finish this. In the crowd, Snoochin Hopkins. Luke it with the save, and the Sabres win it again, this time for good. Well, it was just an opportunity to get the fans warmed up here for the second chance for the official winning goal. In the second admission, talk to us a little more about Brendan Gallagher. It's, 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 it's in! Off the glass and in for David Savard. The game is tied! Oh, my! A crazy bounce off the stanchion and in. What a goal! And Montreal's even the game at two, just like that. And this is a tight angle. That's coming off almost the corner. Savard's first goal since January 10th, his first in 22 games. The problem was he wasn't shooting off the glass enough. So Pachanak has his 20. Look out, look out. Off the end. Is it in? Is it in? Oh, the goal, I know. We just saw this the other night. And this took a crazy carom off the corner glass and almost beat Joe Wall. We saw David Savard score like that. It comes actually off the backboard. It's about, so oh my goodness. Oh, it's it's on his skate. It sits in the holder on his skate against the post. You couldn't do that in a million times if you tried. Puck kept in by Fox. Good pass. Shot right off for here. Off the crossbar. Oh, it's a goal. Well, I think he thinks it's in. Now the official down below, it's right on the goal line. Most times the players know whether it's in or not. Right away, Lafreniere puts his arm up, and then the official is on the far goal line, signals a goal. God, that looks like it's in. Alexi Lafreniere. Yeah, he fired it. Woo, that's right, we've talked about it for a reason, Sam, for God's <laughs> sakes. On a round on his shoulder from Ben, turned over Zadina to his forehand, and a save, and it falls off the post, and that stayed out according to the referees. It was right there on the line. It bounced perfectly. It's always a question mark, you know, a puck up on end, is it completely over the line? The overhead, you can still see black of the puck just oscillating on that line and Stan Coven with the presence of mind. I always find this an interesting call. After review, it was determined that at 2.52, the puck completely crossed the goal wow. line, therefore there was a goal. Wow, so by a whisker. Maybe a fraction of a whisker. I mean, that is, that's as close as you're going to see. It goes in the Sharks' favor. Brings it in. Good throw to Rempe. He scores! Absolutely. The young man comes up with a beauty. And they think it did go in. It hit one post and went across. I thought it went in the net and out. And I'll check to see if it went over the line. Oh, wow. It might not have. I mean, it hit the other post and came right back along. And you got to be able to see white. After league initiated review, the puck did not cross the line. We have no goal. It was on edge and spinning. And did the whole puck cross the red line completely the referees say no i don't think matt rimpy believed it went in when he came to the bench after the handshake line he was not 100 percent sure it was in and usually the shooter knows more than anybody yeah else. you're right there was a delayed reaction when he took the shot and now here's domi looking back the other way to nylander hill way out of the net he might have an equipment problem right. here yeah, he's got his steals out yeah it was really scrambly. You could see the steal and a line on the goal line. Trying to push over. It kind of catches on that left post as he moves left to right. And then <laughs> no, no way to stop when he pushed back to the left. For Tuesday. Up to Tanev. The float away score! Pavelski had been knocked down. And Tanev, the floater from the blue line. That hits oh. Troy Terry. Misses Joe Pavelski, I believe, and boy, what a lucky goal that is for Dallas. Tanev just throws it. It hits Terry's stick, bounces up in the air. It's like an alley-oop that goes over the shoulder of a screen. John Gibson for Yossi. He drags, spins around. Yossi, right in front, kicked up, they score! And Yakov Trenin heads for the people. He's top the score. Do the spinorama, bring it to the backhand and know that he's got traffic in front and put it there. That was steal by Cole Smith. He works it to the low slot. He scores! Back-to-back -back goals. Cole Smith.
Smith right off the draw. Eight seconds later, and Nashville has turned it around in the first period, and they lead by one. Well, guys, you're talking about Tyler Bertuzzi, and you showed the shot of him there on the bench, and we talk a lot about his tape job, but how about he still has the sticker on his stick? He can't even be bothered to take the sticker off. No wonder Leaf fans love this guy. The barcode, you can check it out, and they wonder how much it costs. Up and in. Brady Kachuk hustling after it. Kemper out of the goal. He's caught up now with Kachuk trying to poke it loose. In comes Pinto right in front. Kemper's down. Batherson scores. Great Batherson had to wait out. Kemper made sure he had the open part of the net. And he fires it in, and Ottawa's on the board. And Kachuk, they get in the way. The puck gets kind of knocked down, and then right there, Pinto steps in, keeps the puck alive. That allows Kachuk to get it back out in front. Batherson locates it. For Haney, for Barkov, off his stick. Barkov trying to settle it down in front, and they score! Put this one right at the top of your list of highlight goals for the season. The individual effort, the hand-eye coordination of Alexander Barkov, Goes off his stick, there he taps it once, taps it twice, and then the third try, he gets it over onto the stick for a perfect tap in. Oh, that is pretty to watch. My goodness, elite. Is it concerning at all, it's like you haven't scored in nine games, or does it I've, just, I've decided I'm just going to see how many assists I can get. So uh, <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's the focus. I'm not going to shoot the puck anymore, and um, I'm not going to score any more goals. Back home to McDavid as he pilots through McDavid. Stopping a career long 10 game goalless drought. What a time to do it. It's the overtime winner. Before that, Connor, he was wondering why you lied to us and said you weren't going to shoot the puck again. He was expecting you to pass, I think, on that final play. <laughs> well, there was no one to pass to. Um, <laughs> I was looking, but uh, just decided to shoot it. Lately, Tyler Bertuzzi and Max Domi have become a bit of a dynamic duo, and fans have noticed so much so that we're getting some fan art. Yes, Flo Buds on Twitter created these two awesome drawings, and he wanted a vote. Which one do you like the most? So I thought he wanted a vote. Well, we got to go to the source himself. I mean, you're both hilarious. Whoever made this, 10 out of 10, good job. But I think I like the Beavis and Butthead one. <laughs> That's epic. <laughs> so good. It actually looks exactly like Bert, too. Kind of looks like me, but not really. There you go. That is really all the vote you need. A vote of confidence for Max Domi. Behind the net, Natchez. Looks to set it up and flips it out in front. That goes off the top of the net. Crafty play from Natchez from behind the net. Tried to find Nason, and it almost bounces into the Montreal net. Pretty cool. As both, <laughs> both defensemen are at the post, so just tries to flip it over the crossbar. Nice try, nonetheless. Shades of Sonny Milano and Trevor Zegris. Here, a race for the puck. Out comes first Leakins. Trocek goes sprawling. Elvis makes the poke check. Here comes Elvis. Oh, what a great view there at ice level. Yeah, that sure is. Oh. That's a scary sight, isn't it? A man like Elvis with all that equipment on coming out to play the puck. You know it. Now Chatfield has to get to it. Way out of the net comes Kochekov, and they'll score. He poked it away, but right to Monahan, and Sean Monahan into the empty net. You just can't make this decision. And let's just look at the risk reward. What type of potential damage is there? Here's Pierre Engvall to put it away, and he scores into the empty net. Finally. You called it, Butch. Finally, this was the night. I can't believe, Brendan. Here we are, game 59. That's the first empty net goal. Can't believe he didn't wind up for a slap shot. Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> Miller back to Truba. Out to Panarin. Panarin with a goal and an assist to make it two goals for Artemi Panarin. How about that accuracy? Yeah, pretty good, huh? <laughs> and that high floating shot off of everyone. Truba says, nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start hitting each other. Brendan Dillon's doing enough of that. It's nice when you go in, the smile's already there before you hit the ice. It's more a whoopsie-daisy. This is a replica 1857 Napoleon cannon created by the French Army. And there, for sure, will be firing all kinds of shots this evening against Columbus, trying to make sure... Oh! They're successful in continuing this winning streak. Sorry, did you say something? Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I'm not there right now. 
I'm not there. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I got some other work to do. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Rogers Oilers Hockey on Sportsnet. Hey, if you're living in and around Edmonton, you are doing this today. 30 centimeters, nearly 12 inches of snow fell in the capital region area. In the first intermission, we were expecting to talk to Ric Flair, and then they said, hang on, we'll get him in the second intermission, and we uh, stood around, unfortunately, didn't quite happen. I, I had planned on him doing something like this to me. Oh, and, and then being bloodied, uh, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't quite work out, so we missed out on the nature boy. Sometimes, Jack, as you know, life just isn't Flair. Power play, a good one. 13th, and they score from the corner. Anders Lee looking to throw it out front. It hits off a of Jan Ruda. This has been one of those nights, unfortunately, for Corona, just not getting a lot of breaks. Pass Pellet now for Dobson. Dobson snaps one, tipped down in front. Lie in the save and pops free. Barzell, it's in! Matt Barzell banks it off of Lyon. Barzell knows that the goaltender's in trouble. He knows he's got Lee and Nelson in front of the net. So he says, you know what? Let me throw it. Let's just see what happens. There's Lee. There's Nelson fired away. Puck comes loose. And Barzell so quick. Good smart play by Matty Barzell. Very, the Oilers very. have got the lead again. The trains up the march is so empty. Net. Shoot and mark. Oh, it's the save. It broke his stick. It was stuck in his hand. I think it's still one piece. The Vegas guy's having a chuckle. After Mitch Marner retreats to play goalie, doesn't want to take this one, but he has to. Marnstrom out to stop it behind the net. Oh, oh, he took a shot. <laughs> and he was lucky, but he fanned on it that time. Marnstrom out to play it. Oh, he's going to this. He's trying oh. it. Oh, oh my God. Look out. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at this save. Now a sharp angle. Stops that too. Where's the puck? Marnstrom now that comes underneath him. Still loose. Another shot, they score! Pat Shaw able to put it in. What a sequence. Well, I said if you're going to try it, you better make a good save. Now, that's twice that Marks has fanned on it. Now, that's one good save. Here comes another good save. And now, he's fishing. He's swimming. And the backstroke doesn't work on the third time. Seconds of the power play. Terabyte into the side of the net, and they score! That goes off of... Uh, I think Mermis then Nason's face in the back of the net. Backhand tip to the forehand, blocker of Gustafson, then face of Nason, back of the net. Bounce goes the way of Carolina. At the point is Nylander, walks right in. Nylander winds in, dances around Frederick. Lost the puck to him, Frederick's got a breakaway. Trent Frederick moving in, behind Nylander, shoots, scores! A little bobble by Nylander, and the Bruins have their second goal. He just. Overskates it, can't catch Frederick. Giving these families, and uh, can't thank them enough. And our Timmy Panarin has scored again. That was just a bang-bang play. Panarin surprised everyone. Goes off the linesman skate, off the defenseman, off the linesman skate again. Once off the skate, second time off the skate. Well, I'm getting that lucky, I might as well shoot it. Matt Rempe was one of them, and just look how he sets up, and look at Bobrovsky, <laughs> looking all over. Where do I do? Through his legs, and looking around him, trying to find where the puck is. Now you got Instrum in front, two, six, seven guys. Bobrovsky, he's just doing everything he can. This would have been a wide open net for Heinen, but Nugent Hopkins, as we've seen him do lately, just all the way back in the zone, it disrupts enough. It's still up for grabs with 128 left this game. McDavid against Marshan for the tie! Tip! And rebound score! Zach Hyman has tied this game! Hannafin out of the corner, choked off by Cartier. Oh, that hit the scoreboard. I don't think I've ever seen the puck hit the scoreboard here, Johnny. And he just did. It's an amazing moment. Okay, that sounds like mockery. No, but it's I not mockery. JT. That wasn't sincere, no. I can tell. You know what? <laughs> now there's confetti falling from the uh, scoreboard. There, there there's, is. there's confetti falling because the I puck hit it. the scoreboard. You can see it clearly on the ice, and here comes the official to pick up the confetti. The puck hitting the scoreboard created right. the confetti. 31% for his career. Losing for the left. Wink, dinks, and lost control. Never got a shot off. And something else in mind just loses it as he tries to go backhand, forehand. I think somebody may have thrown something on the ice. Now Clutterbuck's cleaning it up. We're not in Detroit. No octopus around. How about a shark? Oh, a shrimp? It's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. What am I supposed to do with it? Eat it. I dare you. Yeah. Got any sauce? 
<laughs> he can't throw up the shrimp without throwing the cocktail sauce. No, and Hathaway just gets enough on it to move it in deep. Vasilevsky's the miscommunication there. Where's the puck? And Vasilevsky has got it in what could have been a disaster. Oh, Stuck in the outside of the net. How about that? Uh, boy, he caught a break there. Knocks down to himself, plays across. And oh. Oh, Talbot with the left-handed larceny. That might be his save of the year. And Tim Stutzler with a little smile and a shake of the head saying, all right, I've seen enough. Martin kept it in twice. Oh, there's the whistle, Brendan. <laughs> uh, when it's time for a line change, if the guys aren't sure, Coach Wall gives a little whistle, and I can hear it from here. Yep. And they make a good change. If you can hear it from here, you know they can hear it. Oh. So, the review seems to be complete. Being secretive, too, right? Can't read his lips there. Francois Saint Laurent is the referee with the orange armbands. Dribbling through everyone. And Rocco oh, can you for turn line? They score! Well, when it's your day, it's your day! What a boot! Because I believe this legally goes off of his skate boot. He plays it with his stick after the fact. It goes off his skate. What a play by Tate. Today's is about how he sees the game. He's a passionate Hurricanes fan. Oh no, Anderson gives it away and they'll score! Oh, the one loose play by Frederick Anderson here today and it ends up in the back of the net. He's on the toe. He's trying to go across the rink to the offside defense. It looked to me like it fluttered. Yeah, fluttered on his toe. With that stick, so he has no other option. Just to move. There it oh, is. No. Why you didn't yeah. score any goals when you Jeez. played? That's, that's it. That's it. Oh God! All right, back to the demo. Oh the let's not focus on. The, let's not focus the on the negative. Let's not focus on the negative. Oh, Biz, break out the checkbook, buddy. Playing for free. One-one game. Biz minus one. Free soft. Here comes Flurry with the puck and Flurry to the pitch. How about this move here? Wow! I mean, they need every point, banger. Yeah, they do. Empty net for Minnesota in a 3-3 game in overtime. Four forwards in all. Zuccarello from the circle. Boldy scores! Oh my. What a move oh. by John Hines to pull the goaltender. And the Wild win it in overtime. Flurry's reaction right to my left. Look at that. Great enthusiasm. Here's a stretch pass behind the defense. In Dostal can't get enough of it. It sneaks through. Kyle Paul Mary makes it 2 nothing. And look at this. Just it's a low and slow. Oh, he takes it back him. against the grain. Watch him just kind of get the goaltender sliding. It just has enough to get over the line. Bedard for Donato. In deep Bedard. For Reese Johnson in front. Score! Goes off the back leg of Moser right here. Moser pivots. There's nowhere he can go at that moment. Where? I'll answer it this way. Are those high whites? <laughs> I like those. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Since that sealer shot looked uncomfortable. Whoa. Lights. Some of the lights just went out of the building. And they're going to blow a play dead. Is it something I said? I guess they just didn't agree with your assessment of Vasilevsky. I don't know, but they lost some uh, lights. Not all, obviously, as you're still able to see the players and all, but clearly enough to stop play. I've been a part of a lot of hockey games. Uh, I don't recall ever being a part of one where some of the power went out. All right, so back we go. It'll be a challenge for the goalies. We'll see how they adjust, that's for sure. Here's side, Lindell fires that one. That bounces, kept off the line, then off. The post! Oh. oh, thank you very much. Get out of here. We don't want you coming by that goal line. What a miracle that is. His name translates into English, Cronus, to big time.